Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for March 28th to April 3rd. While this is a general reading, I try to get as specific as I can. I use the traditional Celtic cross spread for a full picture, uh, since it's actually what my clients prefer. And you'll notice I use a bit of astrology, obviously tarot, and my guides for your reading. Uh, I'm here to spread good energy and love and would be grateful if you can help spread that goodness by liking and subscribing. Uh, one thing before I get started, uh, I have been telling my clients that 2022 really didn't start until March. January and February had the energy of 2021. And so I believe that when this year started in March, we really hit the ground running. I mean, there was a lot of activity in March. Uh, for next week, upcoming week, as we know, on Sunday, which is when I'm posting this video, even though it's Saturday, Mercury is going into Aries, and we do have a new moon in Aries as well, and the sun is in Aries, and there's a lot of Aries energy happening right now. But this is going to be all about what's for you, Capricorn, coming up. I just wanted you to keep those things in mind. I have given these cards a really good shuffle before recording and we are going to get started. Okay, now let's see what we have in store for Capricorns. And you may not see the entire spread uh, in the video. That's fine because I'm going to hold these cards up. Also, this is my first time doing readings online. I usually work with clients personally, and so I think eventually I'll get the recording right uh, where you see the entire spread, but for now, this is how it's gonna go, and I know that I need a mic. Uh, hopefully you can hear me loud and clear, but let's get started for March 28th to April 3rd for Capricorns. Okay, now I'm getting some really strong energy. I'm picking up some crazy energy actually, and you have some really strong presence here in your card. I think this week is gonna be a great week for you. You're already starting off. Uh, you pulled off, you pulled the, the Emperor. Uh, sort of, that's sort of like the heart of the matter. What's going on right now? You feel great. Uh, if you do not feel great, you will start feeling great. This is going to be a great week for you, Capricorn. Um, as you know, the Emperor is, well, maybe you don't know, and that's why I'm here, but the Emperor really is, I call him the daddy of the tarot deck. He is the ruler. He is the big guy, right? So if you can see, let me put that closer. He's wearing the crown, success, long white beard, wisdom, red, red cloak for passion. Look a little closer and you see that he is fully protected with armor underneath him. He is holding the gold, uh, the globe, uh, the world in one hand and the Egyptian Ankh in the other, representing life. And so what this means is you are in a powerful position and you are in a really great position. You are an authority. You are the ruler of your destiny. There is no doubt. There is no fear. There is no second guessing yourself. This is really good energy going into it. Uh, and I think what's really interesting is that there may, may be a moment this week where you do have a moment, a small moment of doubt where you pull the nine of wands, okay? And so what this means is that you may have a moment where, according to the full spread here and the energy I'm picking up and the messages that I'm getting, you may have a little moment of doubt of like, oh gosh, I can't do this anymore because you put so much work and effort into it and so many people are looking up to you and so, and you know, you have so much power as an authority right now and that's one thing about capricorns is that's you know they they do put work in front of uh, as a priority in their life right and so 
if this is resonating for you in terms of work, there could be a moment where you do have like a little bit of doubt or maybe just a little bit of like, oh, I don't know if I can do this anymore, but listen, you've got it. And, and, and everything is saying that you're moving forward and you're, you're going to hold on to this position. Um, this is something that I wouldn't worry too much about that showed up in your challenge area. One of the reasons I say that is because it is the nine. So it's, it's, it's coming to an end. All the hard work and effort that you pulled off where you're at that moment of maybe giving up or doubting yourself, that is going to pass very, very soon. In fact, this week that is going to happen. Now, another thing that I want to point out is, uh, in your crown, you got the lover's card, okay? Now, this card has shown up a lot in my other readings, and there's a lot of love going around this week. Um, there's, you know, obviously there's, well, not obviously, but on Monday, we're going to have Venus conjunct Saturn and Aquarius. That's kind of like a little bit of conflicting energy. I mean, it's fine, nothing to be, like, crazy about, but it just means that you might have to put another priority uh, in front of, a, you know, love or relationship. It could be a work thing that comes up that it, where you have to take care of it. Uh, that's, it's not even a big deal, but on your mind is, is this partnership. Okay. You're, you're thinking about love. You're thinking about, uh, whatever position you're in now being the authority in that relationship or taking that relationship to another level. Uh, I'm getting a lot of the work vibes here. So it doesn't even have to be love related or relationship related. It can be partnership. It can be a partnership with, um, I don't know if you heard that thunder. I don't know if that means anything here, but uh, thunder is good because that represents the gods. And so the lovers is, uh, this is an outstanding card, huge Gemini energy here, but, um, it is basically saying that is what your mind is on right now, this partnership. It can represent a partnership with a new boss, partnership with a new colleague. Uh, there could be some sort of new partnership uh, that's on your mind that's coming through, that's making you feel that you have a lot of power around that. So you could be the one that's hiring someone. It could also be uh, in your relationship. If there has been moments of doubt or weakness, you're gonna be that person to pull through and you're gonna be that person to say, Okay, you know what? Let me just take charge on this situation and let me do it this way. Let's do it this way because this is the right way. I, you, you're, you are in a position where you can do that. King of Swords. Okay. Really, really powerful energy here. Actually, this is all, you know, what's really interesting is you are spending a lot of time. You will be spending a lot of time in your head this week. Uh, the King of Swords, I just want to point one thing out. All the, the air, all the kings are ruled by air, right? And then the sword are ruled by air. So this is huge mental, mental, mental energy right here. This is, wow, lots going through your head. And so deep down inside, uh, you do, this is another, uh, situation of power, right? But take a look at this king, okay? He is the only king that's looking directly at you. You know why? Because he is that confident and he is all about truth and he has nothing to hide. So this is great because you, you know, this is a powerful week for you. This is a powerful week in terms of identity, but this is a powerful week for making things come to fruition. Um, this is also, a lot of this is personal development. You know, uh, the big energy that I'm picking up is, is personal development. And another energy I'm picking up is it could be something with, you know, I did mention partnerships and relationships, but there could be stuff um, about, uh, career. It, it's career. And there's a little bit of home in here. Uh, that's just, you know, that's energy I'm picking up. Um, one, okay. So sorry, sometimes I have to pause to hear the messages and I'm going to show you, you got the six of wands as well. So you've had, you've been on this great streak and 
you've had this moment of attention and people have been looking up to you and you have been inspiring people. And you know what, this is all about victory. This is all about, you know, uh, getting attention for, uh, you know, achievements that you've made and, you know, just public recognition just for like being who you are and you were a superstar. And so that's what really brought you to this position now is that maybe you did get a promotion, maybe you did get a book deal, maybe you did get, you know, you signed a record deal or, you know, maybe you did, if this is, if it's, if relationship is uh, resonating with you, maybe you did uh, get some sort of, you know, got engaged or had marriage or whatever it is, it really empowered you. So something in the past recently really empowered you and put you in this position, okay? Knight of Cups. I love this card so much. Oh, I, this dude, I, I love him so much, okay? Um, he's a very emotional person, and but he's, 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 when you think of the knight in shining armor, that is him. So this is, has a lot of like romantic connotations to it. It also has a lot of creativity, imagination. As you can see, he has the wings of imagination on his helmet on his shoes and so this just means that there could be uh someone coming into your life very soon like a romantic person or it could be you that's going into a, a situation in a very romantic way there is just like uh you did get the lover's card and these two correspond but at the same time it's it's a lot of creative energy here too um, so if it is work related, if it is career related, just wait for this week. I mean, things are going to take off. Things are going to take off in a really great way and you're going to be in a good place and you're going to have a lot of inspiration. You're going to have a lot of creativity and anything that you're working on, it's just going to, it's going to be powerful. There's going to be so much energy behind it because you're going to bring that energy you have so much energy going on, okay? This is great. Now, I'm just gonna go to your staff real quick. You also got the Queen of Swords. Wow, you are getting, you have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, so that corresponds, and that's really great. The Queen of Swords, I really love her. As you can see, like the King of Swords, um, her sword is aimed at this guy. This is all about knowledge. This is all about, <sighs> just being that person who has so much power. Um, I mean, there's really not much else to say because this this reading is, is all about authority and it's all about power and it's all about you having that and making that manifest so good for you. The Capricorns are, 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 your week is going to be amazing, okay? And another reason why I say that is because you pulled the star, all right? Big big Aquarius energy here. Uh, something around you is going to help. You're going, something is going to come to fruition, some sort of hope that you've had or wish that you've had or dream that you've had. This just means that the stars are aligning for you. Um, all the, you know, worries in the past, they're over. And so this is just great. This is, you know, uh, huge, like again, huge Aquarius energy, huge water bearer energy. Uh, but the main takeaway is that because it, it landed in your external factors area, it just means that something is going to happen within your orbit that's going to help everything that you wanted, you know, this week to happen. To, will happen um that is just crazy energy here um what else let's go to the king of pentacles you want that money <laughs> you want that money and i know you do and this is great earth energy and you know as a capricorn i have to say that this is something that would resonate with you um Everybody wants money, right? But this is a big hope for yours now. And I think that whatever situation you're working on now, whatever sit, uh, position of power that you're in, the authority that you have, uh, whatever it is, you're hoping that it will yield 
more income or extra money or uh, put you in a position where you get paid more or you know there is money involved there you know the king of pentacles which is really interesting that is you got two kings here okay so the king of pentacles uh one thing that i also want to point out about that is he is so tapped into the earth he is so tapped i mean and you're an earth sign and you're you know earth signs are amazing right and so he's so tapped into that the just being uh he's such a global person he has his vision and he cares about humanity and he cares about like the future of the world and so this is i i love him to death and he is such a great card and i love that he's showing up in your hopes and or in your hopes area um but it really is the bigger message here is money okay um now one last thing before I go. <laughs> you did pull the Four of Cups, okay? And I, I, there was another uh, sign that I did a reading for not too long ago who also got the Four of Cups in the same area. There could be a possibility this week where you are presented with some sort of opportunity, some sort of option, uh, it could come out of nowhere. It could be something that you're expecting. I would just say, even though you're in this powerful position, be very grateful for this opportunity, whether you take it or not, okay? Just be grateful that it came to you. Because sometimes, listen, like, uh, sometimes when we have, when our vibration levels are really high, when we are in a powerful position, when we know we're the shit, when we got all that, I personally have been in those situations. You know, I was a freelance writer for a really long time. And sometimes, you know, I, yeah, I was writing for really big top tier publications. And sometimes there would be an outlet that was maybe like a little lower tier that would ask me to write a story and they would say, and it would pay like half of what I was getting. And I'd be like, ugh, just screw you, delete. Or whatever I should have been more grateful that that opportunity came for me I don't even care how much I shouldn't have cared how much it paid I shouldn't have cared what it was I should have just been grateful either way that thank you universe for remembering that I'm here thank you universe for remembering how much hard work I do thank you universe for this opportunity you're presenting to me I'm going to pass on it kindly because this is, I, I have my eyes focused on something else. So the big takeaway here at the end of the day is be a little grateful for, for some of these wonderful things that are happening, even if they don't align with you on a vibrational level. Just know that, you know, it is an opportunity that came to you and no one else. Um, whether you, you know, want it or not. So, uh, that is, that's, that's that. And, you know, once again, you are in a powerful position. You're moving toward a power, a more powerful position. This whole week is going to be amazing for you. I know that I mentioned something about home earlier. That's just a message that was coming through. So if Capricorns are doing something with their home or if there's something that, you know, uh, with this position, you know, we talked about uh, relationships, we talked about career, right? So when I say home, when I say something about home, there could be some sort of uh, amplification in that area. And when I say home, it could be something work from home related. If you're working from home, if that resonates for you, it could be moving in with someone that you're in love with. It could be someone, it's just taking it to the next level. But that's when I see that message of home, uh, that's what that means, even though there's absolutely nothing in here that really talks about home. I keep getting that message. So, um, it, everything looks good. Just keep, you know, do you keep being you. You're, you're entering a, a crazy good phase in your life. And I'm a very, I'm very, very excited for you. Um, that's your reading. I, you know, uh, can't wait to see you next week. I now I'll be doing readings every week. Like I said, this is the first time I've started uh, 
this YouTube videos. And uh, so I'll see you next week, but I actually, I'll do monthly videos too. Um, so I'll see you even before that. But uh, one last thing I wanna say is that a lot of my clients, I love it when they come to me. Sometimes like even literally the next day, they'll come to me and they'll say, oh my God, you said this and this happened and this happened. And, and, and I love those stories. I love hearing, I love having that human connection with people. So feel free to like, you know, drop me an email or leave in the comments, anything that happened that came to fruition, but Capricorns, good for you. Wow, this is a great reading. Um, if you like this reading, again, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon.